Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and today I'm playing a game called Skullgirls. Now, I don't really know much about this game. I have heard about it a little bit, but the only real reason I'm playing this game is because it's currently free to play for the weekend on Steam. But I have played the game a bit off screen already, so I can at least say this about the game. It is a fighting game, and uh, all the characters in the game are lovely young ladies. Well, some of them are anyway and all the playable characters, that is. Why else would this be called Skullgirls? But, yeah. Um, already gotten the hang of the controls. Controls seem simple enough. Um, but, like I said, this is only my first time playing this game, so... For now, I think what I'm gonna do is that... I'm just gonna go to, uh, single-player mode here. Uh, I'm not gonna go to a multiplayer battle just yet, because I know that's pretty much where the, where the real gameplay lies, but... I'm just going to go to single player for now, because this is my first time uh, actually playing the game. But the controls seem uh, simple enough, so... I'm going to set the difficulty on normal. I'm going to go to arcade mode. Pick a team, fight your way through a uh, randomly generated challenge. So, yeah. Let's go to arcade mode here. Got a loading screen. So we got all the characters here. The thing that's kind of weird, though, is that you use the S key to navigate through the menus. Or, like, select a menu, which is kind of weird. I think this game was uh, mostly designed to be used with a uh, USB controller, much like uh, other fighting games released for the PC, but yeah. Um, select size, one super powerful character, two high powered characters, and three normal powered characters. Um, I guess I'll go with two, maybe. So we got the characters here. Can't choose this one because apparently this one's downloadable content. Although it is free downloadable content. Let's see what we got. We got Miss Fortune. Oh my goodness gracious. Peacock. What the? Okay, that's just weird. Pain Wheel. That's just creepy. Cerebella. What the heck is on her head, for goodness sakes? Double, which is even creepier. Parasol. I already played as her, though. She's a pretty interesting character. She attacks you with your umbrella, basically. Valentine, who is also creepy, and Philia, who looks normal enough, except for her hair, but, um, let's play as Parasol here. I know you can choose different palette colors, which means it'll, it'll use that one, but, uh, what is this assist? Napalm shot, or Napalm shot? SB plus HK equals Forbearance. Napalm shot, maybe? Oh, and I guess I choose a, uh, assist character here. Okay, let's try Peacock then, maybe. Bang? Alright, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go to a... I'm gonna go to a match here. And of course... It's not respawning even though it's actually loading. I don't know what your problem is, Windows 7. I just don't know. But we're just waiting for it to load here, so... Just waiting, and here we go then. Alright. A pain wheel here. All right, it's not, it's showtime. I don't know what the heck she just threw at me. That looked like a key or something. I'm just kind of moving around here. Oh, excuse me for living. Got Peacock on her team as well. So yeah, got all these attacks here. And I think there's a. Well, that's not the attack I was looking for, but I think it was going down like this or something. No, that didn't do a darn thing. What is she attacking me with? Oh, well, that's an interesting attack. Okay. Yeah, I do know some of the uh, button combinations here anyway, so... Use the A, D key. S key also works. You use up to jump, I know that for a fact. I think you can use the Z, X, and C keys to kick, basically. Like that. Come on. Who the heck? Okay. Well, that was just odd. There's some guy uh, watching me over there. Yeah, this guy right here. I think I just got run over by a motorcycle. Or is that a statue? No, he's moving. So, he's just watching us battle here on top of a, on top of the roof of a building. Okay then. Okay, yeah, they're just kind of switching out characters here. I'm just battling a variety of different characters. 
I don't know who that guy over there is with the what appears to be a gas mask, but okay. Um, let's try to use the end key. Or okay. Well, I know that when you take out uh, one character, then you have to battle the other characters, obviously, but... Uh-oh, something's coming. Safe full of money, I guess? He's blocking with a cinder block. Uh-oh. Well, just blew my foot off. Oh, no, she's still attacking me. Wait, what the heck? What's going on here? I can't see myself. Am I playing as... Yeah, I'm playing as Peacock, but why is... Why is her face completely black, though? I guess because of the palette colors. Okay, pie in the face, apparently. That's also an attack that she has. Yeah, because that really hurts. Pie in the face. I just have to battle my clone here. It should be easy, although I'm starting to run out of time here. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez, I can't even get close to her, for goodness sakes. Just spamming all kinds of attacks that explode. Have a pie. Have... Okay, have a floorboard or something. That's a wrap. Okay, well, that was, that was simple enough, anyway. But then I think we go to another battle next, so... It's not over just yet. Okay, then. Okay, then. Get a kick in the face. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, excuse me for loving, battling another character here. Okay, well, the AI has three characters. I only have two, though. So what button do I... Wait, what key do I use to switch out the Peacock here so I can start battling as her? I kind of don't want to risk trying out all the buttons here, because I could get killed here if I do that. How you doing? Oh! Alright, well, just block that. Alright. You know, it's kind of odd that this is my first time playing it. I already know all the... most of the combinations of uh, attacks here. Oh, what the heck? Uh-oh. Well. Oh, wait a second. I pressed the V key, I think. And then I think that sends... Yeah, that sends Peacock out. Oh, jeez, I can't even get close to her. Oh, did I... No, that wasn't my... That was not my attack. Wait, where am I... Where in the heck am I? Hold on a second. Oh, this is double. She didn't have a head there for a second. Okay, Peacock can double jump, it seems. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, okay. Nice combo attack, though. I'll at least, I'll at least give you that. Darn. Let's try some other attacks. Get the pie in the face. That didn't work. Oh, yeah. Blocking somebody attacks. Oh, okay. Just you know, want to get poked in the face? Well, that's what you got. You gotta get poking in the face. Okay, hold on a second. The game's kind of, kind of lagging here. Oh, wait a second. She's transforming into all kinds of different characters. Oh, what the heck? That was going too fast for me to even see. And she's still trying to attack me even after I died. Well, I'm going to give up for now because I'm going to try to maybe choose a different character here. You know what? Let's, let's actually try that. Actually, I should try story mode, maybe. Oh, wait. I just pressed the A key. Hold on a second. Uh, let's play as Valentine or something. Just got one single character here. 
Okay, then. Take one. Well. Okay, well, I honestly have no idea what's even going on here anymore. Let's try to get this out of the way here. Okay, there we go. That's... Hold on a second. That's... Most combination of attacks are working. It's not kind of. But like I said, this is just my first time playing, so I don't know all the attacks here. And I'm only playing against the AI as well, because, well, that's also because of the fact that this is my first time playing here. I don't want to risk going into a multiplayer battle already if I never played the game before, because I know I'm just going to fail miserably if I don't know the controls or all the combinations of attacks. Alrighty then. Um, no thank you, I don't want any. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this, to be honest, but yeah, just basically a fighting game. Just doing all this. Oh, no, I dodged that. Like a pro. Get some kicks. Get a bone saw, I think that's what it's called. I'm only assuming it's called a bone saw because I think the medic from Team Fortress 2 has a similar weapon. Stomp her foot. Hold on a minute. Like how we're just fighting like this in a public area. Alrighty then. Well, on to the next stage then. Actually, you know what? How about we not go on to the next stage? I really, I really want to try out story mode here though. Hold on a second. I know there's also achievements in later boards. And there's also command lists, however, which tell you all the, uh, like, combinations of attacks for all the characters, but I can't really understand it, to be honest, because, like I said, I think this game was mostly designed to be used with a, uh, or played, I should say, with a USB controller, because if you look down here, accept and cancel, but look at this, accept says LK, cancel says MK. So, I don't even, I don't know what LK or MK could mean, but I'm assuming it has something to do with maybe, like, the controls on a USB controller or something. I have no idea to be honest, but let's try story mode here for a little while. Let's try a uh, pie in the face peacock here. What is this? Okay. Leduc, Leduc. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm very sorry. Hi, meet Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. I think that says opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read the papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more. Extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed, but with the proper Theonite balance, I think we can graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey Graham, shut it, I'm busy here. That's not what she sounds like at all. She has no eye sockets. The Avery unit is, admittedly, a bit less well understood. We designed to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it. It's getting, it's getting to the good part. To think, that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat the Skullgirl once and for all. Poor mutilated orphan? That's terrible, anyway. And what was that now, exactly? Hey, hey, listen! Oh, what the heck? Squawk, wake up, Peacock! The Theonite resonan resonance detector is picking up a huge reaction downtown! It's her boss, the Skullgirl's on the move! 
Ah, damn. Put some coffee on and give me 15. That was terrible. I guess this is a magic 8 bomb. Ready, everyone? It's time to paint the town red. Literally. Psst, Avery. So did the boss take a bath or what? What does she brush her teeth with, anyway? Metal polish? I think a bath and her usual morning routine were implied, but they aren't something the audience needs to see. Hot tootie fighting! Yeah! Everybody loves some hot tootie fighting. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Let's just fight this girl here with that tentacle hair or something. Get a floorboard. Get floorboard. Get floor. Get cannoned. Get pie in the face. Pie in the face in. Okay. Let's try something else here. There you go. Kicked. Wait a second. Did she have a. Did she have a chainsaw there for a second? Or was that, uh. Philia? One of Philia's attacks. Yeah, what is this? Ouch. It's gonna hurt. That hit me right in the face. What is this here? What is that? Uh-oh. Hold on a second, she's... Oh wait, this is... Oh, this is a hammer. It poked. Poke it at. Okay, then. That worked out perfectly. So do I battle her again? No, I guess I don't. Okay. Just defeat old cat lady here. Why not? Oh. No. Nope. Nope. In the face. Get some combo attacks in there. There we go. That's working. That's working out good. Or maybe it's not. With my many eyes. Okay. Well, I guess she doesn't have eye sockets. I guess all her eyes are on her arms or something. I don't understand this. Oh. Okay, actually, what, uh... She just lost her head. Actually, can I attack... Yeah, the head's attacking me, but can I attack the head? I wonder? There we go. Well, I guess I'll never know. That's seriously all there is to story mode? Battling all these characters here? I guess that's all there is to this. Alright, it's showtime. Oh, nope. I guess he I guess she uses him as a human shield or something. Or is he even human? Can't tell with that gas mask on. I know some of the playable characters here are definitely not human. Especially not Peacock. Can't even comprehend what's going on here right now. Just got her kind of back into a corner here. And actually, I do have this on normal mode, do I? I think I do, so... Normal mode seems to be a bit too easy. Maybe it should up the, uh, up the difficulty. Maybe a little bit. I think she got a headshot on me. Whoop! Fly in the face? No. Alright. Got a floorboard. That works. Okay, then. I don't know what Peacock meant by crowning a princess exactly, but... Man, who are all these posers getting between me and a Skullgirl? Don't they know who I am? I was built to beat Skullgirls. The sooner I get done with that Skull Girl, the sooner we can get back to watch Glorious Annie, Symphony of Symphony of Star Stuff. Gosh dang it, I can't speak English. Yeah, I gotta get gotta get back to watch wrestling. I heard Bee Wolves coming out of retirement. Squawk, hold it, everyone. We got a message coming in from Doctor Avian. Come, uh, Peacock, zzz, zzz, or zzz, betray us. Zzz, labs under attack. The Doc's in trouble. 
We're too late. Whoever it was, they really did a number on the lab. Patricia. You hear that? I think I heard Dr. Avian. Wow. Dr. Avian, who did this to you? Lab Zero. Valentine. Betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skull Get. And he just disappears out of existence. He's gone, boss. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake these idiots will ever make. Okay. Squawk, I see your boss. The Skull Girl is right over there. Wait, it can't be. What? Marie? She's the Skull Girl? I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Mary will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct. Enough! Avian's legacy ends now. So we're already at the Skull Girl, it seems? Boss battle? Possibly? I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't played through story mode before. This is only my first time playing it. Okay, what kind of combination buttons can I use to do those attacks? Basically those exploding things. Get some pokes in the face. Yeah! Okay. Well, I'm just kind of just doing this. It's pretty easy. Yeah, okay, then. That's it for that, I guess. All right, what is what is what is going on here? Hello, nurse. I don't know why I worded it like that. Nice place you got here, by the way. So Labby's ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. What's wrong with her eye? So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skull Girl, and you let her write to us. I won't explain my reasons to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that is done. You really think I'm going to let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. And I admit, you are almost an interesting opponent, but you're nothing more than garbage, infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness. Double. It's, lab it's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Squawk will show you weakness, lady. We're gonna murderize ya! Time to die, traitor. Yeah, what they said. They're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc. Alright, some harsh words there. Let's do it. Hello, nurse! Mm, I'm gonna kill you now! Oh my goodness, okay, maybe, or maybe not. Oh wait, and she has two characters. She has two uh, characters battling for her. Okay, I guess maybe she's gonna kill me first. Can't uh, dodge those attacks. I don't know how to dodge. I really should have looked at the controls much better. I took a better look at the controls. There's gotta be some other combination attacks I can do here. Oh, like this. Okay. And in that fires eight balls? Okay. That's just odd. Okay, well I got her, so now I ha have to take on double. Although I might die before I'm able to accomplish that. I might. If I do die, can I still con like continue on this stage, or is it just game over? Or hold on a second, I might not die. Oh yeah, that chainsaw attack is from uh, the, the Peacock. Well, you're done. Okay, well that was really pathetic. Anyway. So is that it now? Now do we battle the Skull Girl? It looks so. Or it appears so. Darn. Mary! Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, please, don't worry about you. 
Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine. I was created to stop you. There's no way you could beat me, so of course I'm worried about you. Look, Patricia, you will understand. Whoa, is that him? So all these people are evil. From the slave traders of Rommelgrad to their patrons. The Medicize? I guess that's how you pronounce it. All must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. You must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days you'll slip up and just you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys, or worse. You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we could. <laughs> so, sorry. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over. Okay. All right. He's turning really evil now. I guess. Uh oh. I think my theory's correct. Okay then. Oh, what is this? Am I somehow not going to be able to attack her? Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't, uh attack her like this because of all the skulls in the way. Or actually, I'm kind of... No, I'm doing a bit of damage to her, but not a lot. Oh god. Okay, I think this is the boss battle I'm waiting for here. We get some pies in the face, maybe? You wanna get poked? You wanna get poked? Uh-oh. Hmm. How do I get... Or is there even any way to... Is there any way to get rid of the skulls? Maybe I just have to battle her like this somehow. Maybe I just need to... Maybe I just need to do that or something. Okay, well I'm, I'm gonna... My goodness gracious. Or am I gonna die? I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, because my attacks are barely doing any damage to her, but... Her attacks are doing tons of damage to me. Well... Oh wait, no, I'm... Well, I was going to say I was still alive, but now I'm not. Oh yeah, I can try again, okay. Okay. Do we just have to attack her like this? I guess I have to or something. Because I don't, I don't know how to... I don't know if there's even a way to get rid of these skulls. It doesn't appear as though there is. Maybe I just need to continue attacking her like this. Or something like that, while avoiding all of her attacks, obviously, but... Uh-oh. Let's just try to... spam some attacks here. There we go. Okay, I gotta get away from that explosion, then. In that case. Uh-oh. Oh, what the heck? There's a shadow attacking me. Yes, I do dare to challenge you. I'm probably gonna die again. Yep. Oh, jeez. No, it's not how the story ends. I'm gonna try this a couple more times here before I give up. Think of some other attacks here. Well, what exactly is hitting me, though? Aside from the skulls there. Because when I try to attack her, I get damaged by something else, but I have no idea what, though. Get some floorboard. <laughs> Well, maybe I am getting attacked by the skulls. I have no idea. Oh, my goodness gracious. I really should have seen the controls for how to dodge. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, well, I dodged that, though. 
Okay, I can't jump over that apparently. Okay, well I think there I think there is definitely a way to defeat her, but it's pretty difficult though, even on normal difficulty. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try I am gonna try again, but just one more time though. One more time here because I can't really figure this out here. I really should have seen the controls for how to dodge or block or whatever. Oh, wait a second. Oh, just playing some good old football here. Why not? Like you with an exploding football. Okay. I can't figure this out. Oh jeez, I can't even... I can't move very quickly here, for goodness sakes. Okay. I can't even jump there, but... Actually, you know what? I can give up right now, because I can't figure this out. Forget it. Okay then, well you know what, I think I'm just uh, gonna, I think I'm just finished playing this game for now, I can't, I can't figure it out, but I'm assuming that's the final boss of story mode, but I can't figure it out, so I'm just gonna stop for now. Alrighty then, but yeah, but that's basically Skullgirl, still, still an interesting fighting game nonetheless, but it's currently free to play for the weekend on Steam, and I believe it's also 33% off during the weekend, or the free weekend on Steam. If you want to purchase the game, links in the description as always. Yeah, there's Peacock. Oh yeah, see, but there's all these controls, so this is obviously for, uh... This is obviously for, uh... USB controller, I would think. But I can't, I, I can't do it. If you want to purchase the game, links in the description, but I think I'm pretty much done for now. Still an interesting game nonetheless, but I can't complete the final boss battle. But don't blame me too much, because this is only my first time playing the game, so... Anyway, this is Dr. Robonic64, thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or me subscribe. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. Links to my Twitter accounts in the description of all my videos, including this one. Also, check out my Google Plus account, which is also in the description of the video. I haven't posted anything on it yet, but I will eventually. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.